Oh, how y'all doing YouTube? I'm here to do a food taste tutorial. I have over here, I'm gonna start off with the dessert. This is a Biscoff biscuit. I don't know if it's gonna show backwards or not, but yeah. I have my good old Al steak sauce, the best. And I have a good old pork chop. Yes. Good old pork chop. And last but not least, some good old ribs. Yes, God. Mmm. Look at it. It looks tender. It looks like you could just bite it and it fall off the bone. The Lord stuck his big toe in this. Mm. I can tell it's good because I, I smell it like as you when you you take a whiff just. And it just blows you right in the face. Oh. And good old Minute Maid juice. <sighs> oh. Yes, God. All right. I'm going to start off by putting my little sauce on the plate. On a little salsa. It's called a salsa. And it's a salsa. Sauce salsa. You get it? <laughs> I know. But yeah. I'm going to put a little dip dab, a little drip, a little drip dizzle dazzle. Like that, all right. I'm gonna close that up. Which one should I start with, the pork chop or the ribs? So much pork in one day, Lord Jesus. But yeah, I'm gonna start with the rib. Mmm. You can feel the tenderness in the rib when you pick it up. It's like as soon as you pick it up, it's just like, oh my God, the feeling of it. It feels so delicious and smooth and great already like i'm gonna do a little i'm gonna do a little dip you know you don't want to put too much you want to you want to put not enough like just that right there just a little a little dip all right mm. dip. oh my god look Oh my God, this rib is life. It's like, I have to take one more bite. One more bite, please, hold on, one second. Oh, it got me shaking. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Lord Jesus, have mercy on my soul. The tenderness in the rib it slips right off the bone and falls right in your mouth. And it's so juicy. All of the flavor is like in the rib. It's like as you bite it, it's like you're biting into a great juicy piece of meat straight out of the cow. Pig. It's pork. Okay. Straight out the pork. The pig. You got it. You got it. You got it. And my God, whoever made this, Kudos to you, my brother. Yes, yes. Yeah. My God, my God. I was so hungry. And I was in the kitchen deciding what did I want to eat. And it's, oh my God. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. One more bite, guys. One more. Mm. There was a piece of fat. I hate fat. But it's so good and juicy. Okay. Mm. It's so good that you don't want to drink juice because all the flavor is going to go away. You want this flavor to stay in your mouth. Like, but this juice, it looks good. <laughs> okay. Oh my God! Oh, Jesus, this juice is bomb! Oh my God! Lord, be help me. Lord, be my savior, my protector, my provider, my everything. Cause this juice, you put you, it, Lord, you turn water into wine. But God, Whew. onto this pork chop. Go. Gonna do a little cut. You want to be fancy. You want to get your fork. You want to get your knife. 
You want to cut. Ooh! The juice out of it already. It's atrocious. Want to make sure it's done in the middle, you know. This smoke pump chopped All right. You get a little piece like that. All right. Be with me, Lord. Whew. Oh my God. Oh. oh my God. My God. My God. My God, my God. Oh. This pork chop. This pork chop. I have to take another bite. One more. Oh. This time I'm gonna dip it in my little owl sauce to see if it gives it more flavor. This flavor is bomb, but you, ne uh, you never have enough flavor. Okay. I'm gonna put like that much. You don't wanna drown it just that much. The sliding is like blind. Jesus. Okay. Mm. This pork chop. The Lord. He made that pig specifically for this pork chop. He made pigs, but this pig here, this pig is different. This pig was made by the hands of God. I can't stop. I just can't stop. I have to take one more bite. Oh, Jesus. Whew. Mm. I had enough. The flavors, I'm going to overdose off of it. This flavor... The flavors, I am going to overdose off of the flavor because it's so addicting and good. When you take the bite, the juice just rolls out of the meat. And my God, the juice just rolls out of the meat and it's stuck in your like, the flavoring, it never leaves. It never, ever leaves, ever. And one second, wrong way. But, oh God. I, I can't get enough of it. Like, I can't. More juice. Oh my God, this is too much. Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go on to the dessert because this food, like, oh God. Once, I need a moment. Thank you, Lord, for this meal has been prepared by the hands of the 12 disciples. This has to be the food that the Jesus and the 12 disciples at the dinner table this has to be the food that they were eating. It has to be. Like, it was a one-in-a-lifetime moment. You would never taste anything like this again. This has to be the food that, that, that Jesus and the 12 disciples were eating. It has to be. That's it. That's it. That's it. I can't do it anymore. I'm getting addicted. I would be a thousand pounds. Oh, Jesus. Ah. On to the dessert. The biscuits. Just get a little piece and you...
Make sure you hear it. Mike. The crunchiness in the biscuit. Oh my God. The crunchiness. I have never, ever, ever in my life of 20 years of living, I have never tasted a biscuit with this certain amount of crunchiness. Like, and it has like this graham cracker flavor. Like, my God, this biscuit, this Biscoff, it's life. And I'm going to end it here. I have to enjoy my meal. See you guys later. Who said I'm in the pack like that? Mm.